Hello, viewers. Straight up here. Another beautiful success story from this year. PMP very recently, 9th of April. Practice PMP. So, um, PMP clearing is becoming a big task these days. But again, there are people telling that if you are consistent in a preparation, sure you can clear it. So, we have Deep here. First, we'll congratulate him for his wonderful success and we'll seek his certificate before we go to him. So, here is the certificate. Okay. 9th of April 2021. Looks great. Great, great, great. So, uh, what is your first feel when you saw this RM certificate? Uh, thank you, Sriram. Thank you for everything. First, everything actually starting from classes, coaching, and I connect you using LinkedIn. And after that, you guide me like how I can prepare myself and how can I go from like with small years of experience to the this PMP. So, first of all, when I see this certificate, like I was really amazing. I was just wondering, like, how did I crack the exam? <laughs> because everything was went very smoothly, and like I've I have seen many videos on YouTube for the PMP exam, and I was just confused and I was afraid with the exam. So when I see the certificate, the congratulation message message on the screen, I was just like, what is going on? I cleared. <laughs> okay, put it very simple, but definitely there is a lot of effect behind the screen. <laughs> yes. Right. So, um, was it a proctor exam? Or a proctor, I mean, uh, exam. It was a proctor based exam, and because of like COVID situation, I have taken this exam. And uh, in the proctor based exam, also I have selected the night time so that I can't get disturbance from the others. Okay, that's that's quite interesting. So uh, when you say proctor, you should have a proper computer, internet facility, power supply. So you yes. made all the arrangements. Yes, yes, I made everything. Like also, like I have given the exam in my wardrobe because uh, in the P because I have seen I have seen that like in the YouTube videos, like there is nothing should be in around us and no disturbance should be there. And I am living in a house where we nine nine guys are living here. So <laughs> every so I can't com like control everybody. So that's that's why I have given the exam in the wardrobe. God man, <laughs> the real bachelor room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, you sit in the wardrobe all the time. Yes. God, man, that's really, really great. <laughs> okay, so talk about the exam. How was it? the exam uh, question and toughness? Actually, the thing is that, like, when I started the exam, first 15 questions was, like, really easy. I completed that, those 15 questions in just 10 minutes. So I was like, like, it is very easy. I can complete it. I can, I can clear the exam. Then after multi-choice questions and like match the following question started and i was just confused like one question took me two and a half minutes to so i was like just 11 questions got done and almost like 12 and a half minutes were gone so i i was like this is really tough now like i can now feel the taste of real pmp so after that man like it's going on going on then i have come like then i was think for like 10 to 15 seconds take a pause and started the exam again so at that time like i have completed all 60 questions for 60 questions in 70 minutes so and then after i took a break of five seven minutes and then come back and join again i i then i thought like for 60 questions were completed in 70 minutes so i guess i can complete Every 180 questions in total minutes is not rust. But that's a good speed. First 16, 17 minutes a good speed. Uh -huh. The thing is, like I, I have seen many YouTube videos and I have practiced a lot. Like I have given less time in reading, but mm. more time in practicing the questions. Mm. So now I have got the speed to read the questions, to read the keywords. To pick up the keywords from as well as questions as well as from the 
all four choices and uh -huh. then i have i was just doing elimination method in the like in selecting the every like a mcq multi choice question and for the match the followings i have to read like just a keywords from each sentence mm -hmm. so that's how i have completed all 60 questions in just 70 minutes that's really impressive i think you do a little better than anybody at all because you should people take 90 minutes okay that's a good shot good shot so now uh, when you go to second 60 and third 60 your speed went higher uh, actually for the third one i have like like all the questions were very easy and i can complete every questions like in just one and a half minutes maximum not more than that so at the end i have saved five minutes and I, i have reviewed everything and everything was done like i was just about to submit but still i have dilemma like well whether i will be cleared or not because all i seems like exams were really smooth and everything was going well so i think that i was just confused this is a pmp exam or not what what's going on <laughs> so if everything goes good you have a doubt yes like i have seen videos and people were afraid like this is like really tough exam and you also say like only like 2% of the world have achieved this exam and this certificate so i was like oh really it's is going to be tough but it was not tough for you <laughs> but no like i guess dedication and inspiration is the key word right that. right so now let's understand why this exam became easy for you so what is the way of preparation which book you read how much you read actually uh, here i am working like four days a week four days 10 10 hours so i got three days of weekends so i can spare those hours in my preparation and i in the reading i read rita and agile practice in rita like first of all from like on first of february i guess yeah i got a study plan from rahul and rahul gave me study plan but i didn't open even inbox on that day. so uh, i was confused like where to start which points to read like and rahul gave me like first knowledge area you need to read this this step chapters so i was confused like what to read how to read then i made my own plan using the the rahul's plan and i want i have matched all the plans all the days like i have i have like selected 10th of april on my as as my exam day your warning is slightly going down actually i have selected 10th of april as a exam day and in my mind and then i put my calendar and i was planning according so on each week i was sparing like three three days to like read almost eight to nine hours a day and for your like your classes as well so almost like 12 hours were gone each from, from my all weekends and i was studying the five day and on the weekdays i was like preparing i was getting time around one to two hours nice good so very consistent on preparation what i understand is you are able to use the three days of a week which is available for you fully yes fantastic so which city you are uh, i am living in kishner canada canada you are okay it should be pretty early in the morning mm, yes. okay great great so how is the uh, project management demand in canada uh actually here demand is good and like the the people who have this certificate are in demand as well as they are earning good bucks compared to others so <laughs> that's why i have i have selected this like certification like and i was also in a hurry like how to get more in a short period short period of time so like and before and right now i am bachelor so i was thinking like after getting married it will be tough to spend time on these things 
after getting married you become a real project manager <laughs> yes that's true <laughs> because you will get a portfolio manager at home <laughs> yes of course and right now like uh, my fiance is like agile practitioner and she is a certified agile practitioner so she was guide teaching me like how agile is working in her department like she is from it and i am from mechanics now i got it why you say it is easy because there is a coach behind you yes that's true <laughs> she is teaching you all the stuff that made you exam easy okay she was teaching me all the like agile fundamentals mm-hmm. like how agile is working in our industry like because in our industry it's all hybrid model what is industry uh, i am working in service sector like trains and transportation department transportation yes okay okay that's nice so the class has happened which helped you nice okay great great super happy to hear the success now if you want to give some tips to the people who feel this exam is tougher what do you do like first of all dedication is the key as i said earlier because if you are dedicated and that you get enough to like choose your exam date at least in your mind then you can go for the exam then after study with plans and also like i was keeping buffer day in my every plan because like we don't know our situation where like we are living in a world where everything is uncertain so for to con- like to neglect that uncertainty from our from our day to day lives we need to keep buffer day so i was keeping buffer day after each and every knowledge area so i can com- like complete all all those knowledge areas within my selected time frame that's that's impressive i heard in canada it's still locked down yes okay. it's locked down but not for like essential workers oh okay so at least lockdown help you not going for any entertainment you have to focus yes that's true <laughs> everything is everything is set up like even shopping malls theaters everything is set up house closed right good to know deep actually deep you made it simple pmp exam is not tough if you are consistent in the preparation just like that even sitting in wardrobe you get like that yeah of course that's true <laughs> cool man thanks a lot uh first of all thanks for coming up here and uh, happy to know that the exam is pretty easy for you i appreciate the way you are your positive mind yes and practice is like practice uh, question answers as much as possible because practic- practicing question answers will give you real feel of the like mm-hmm. exam and at that time you will you won't feel like we you won't refer to the knowledge areas from the books or pages from the book but you will you will get the idea of like how this questions is asked and what to look in the question you can uh-huh. just pick up the keywords from the questions at the time of exam so practicing uh-huh. questions a question answers is a must nice nice great super thank you and it adds a lot of possibility good wishes for the morning glow all right and you have to give uh, thanks to your fiance who helped out for the exam mm. yes thank you so much <laughs> great thanks for coming up here and thanks all the subscribers viewers watch this video i'm sure you all comments when he said it was easy and i was right in the exam and what wrong <laughs> okay leave your comments here what do you think about the toughness of the exam you can check out more thanks all for watching Have a great time thank you is there uh just one more thing like yes. uh, the last day uh, i last thing i want to tell you like after before the exam for the two week, last two weeks i was watching your C, uh, like all you vit- uh, like youtube videos which oh. you post posted on the youtube so that helped me a lot to revise every concepts from the book so uh-huh. like i have watched all your series like at that time and 
every night was ended with your uh, like like all four four hours lecture i was just fast fast forwarding all the lectures and read the, all the concepts what yeah. you were teaching us and on those days so i was capturing all the data uh, i was doing revision using that uh, videos and i continued like but parallelly i was preparing using the youtube youtube question answers perfect so that how i have completed like last two weeks of the exam nice nice i think that's a valuable step to people listening will help you to learn faster yes perfect perfect correct cool keep rocking and uh, get a great higher position in canada and uh, advanced wishes for your marriage as well thank you so much <laughs> thank you see you bye bye Bye-bye.